Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms Buddy. Today I wanted to do a currently reading. So, it has been a couple weeks maybe since I've done a currently reading. I don't know. It's been crazy here. Chaotic, you know, with you know, Christmas and shopping and wrapping gifts and going here and going there. It's just, it's been real busy and I haven't really had a lot of time to do video. So I'm really sorry about that guys. Um, I haven't had Roran this week because he got sick with the flu and, um, mom and dad went out to dinner on Saturday and we had him. He was fine. But then Sunday night, he was feeling a little sick, so I feel bad for, I feel bad for him, um, being so little and then being sick, and now mama is sick from it, so, you know, if you're sick, guys, stay at home, don't go out and, and infect other people and make them sick as well, it's just really sad that, you know, people have that mentality that, oh, you know, whatever kind of thing, so, yeah, it just kind of ruins it for those who get sick from you, so. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. So, he is on the mend. That is good. And now my daughter is not. So, anyway, this week I am reading Miracle on Fifth Avenue. This is by Sarah Morgan. Um, I just read another book by her prior to this one. And I really like her writing. They're such heartfelt stories. And they're Christmas stories. So, I like to try to keep December... Um, Christmas themed. So anyway, um, the one I read prior was One More for Christmas, which was also very good. But in Miracle on Fifth Avenue, we've got Ava, we're following Ava and Lucas. Now Lucas um, lost his wife three years ago and his grandmother just doesn't think he bounced back. That's where Ava enters. Ava runs a business where they go in and they decorate people's places as a surprise for the holidays, you know, stock the refrigerator and freezer and that kind of stuff, you know. So Luke's grandmother hired Ava to do this for Luke. And Luke is supposed to be gone in Vermont um, trying to write another book because he's an author. So Ava gets started and Lucas is there and he tackles her like she's an intruder. And the story really goes on from there. I'm really liking Lucas and Ava's characters in this. They're so real. And I just love the flaws they have. And I just love how she brings them together. She doesn't bring them in together into this burst of insta-love. You know, it takes some time for them to get used to each other. You know, here's Ava in his apartment, you know, trying to, or penthouse actually, trying to get decorated because his grandmother is paying her to do that and he wants to throw her out and she says well I'll just have to tell your grandmother that this isn't what you wanted but they don't know that he is home and not in Vermont and there's just a whole big it's just a big mystery and I absolutely love her writing style really enjoying that story and then the other book that I'm reading is Silent Night by Robert B. Parker this is the one of the Spencer is a Spencer holiday book um, I read the Jesse Stone series. Absolutely love Robert Parker's writing. But sadly, Robert Parker um, is no longer with us, so there's no, no more books being written. Um, but he did have, it was a family member that finished up his Jesse Stone series. Um, I don't know much about the Spencer series because I haven't read that one except for this book. I read this book actually, I think it was 2017 and really enjoyed it forgot a lot about it. I don't really remember a whole lot because that was a long time ago. Um, so I decided to read this one again. It's a nice, short, sweet Christmas mystery. And I really love Christmas mysteries. So I decided to pick this one up. You got this kid that comes to, to um, Spencer and says, hey, can you help um, this, this man who helped me get off the street and he started street business is being threatened to move out they're trying to kick them out of their domain and street business is a program that helps kids who have been just came out of uh, rehab or they just came out of um 
jail or their parents threw them out of the house and it helps them find little jobs so they can have a little bit of money and survive on the streets and that's what street business business is so that is the main storyline for this one i'm really enjoying it i started this this morning i'm on nearly page 50 and it's just a very fast-paced book um, robert b parker always had a lot of dialogue in his books and i love that especially in a mystery so those are the two books that i am reading currently and really enjoying um what are you guys reading this week let me know in the comments below but that is it for my currently reading guys thanks for staying tuned and i'll see you in the next